Hey, what's up? This is Caleb with DSLRVideoShooter.com and today I'm going to give you a couple tips on keeping your gear organized and labeled so you don't have it get mixed up with other shooter stuff. And that happens a lot amongst DSLR shooters. You know, everybody has all these batteries that match and chargers that are the same and lenses even and lens caps, all kinds of crazy stuff. So it can be really difficult at the end of a long or multi-day shoot to be able to get all your stuff together and have it clearly labeled. Not only having it labeled as yours, but giving you more information to quickly find gear and keep things organized. So the tool that I use a ton is this little guy right here. It's a little printer, brother printer. You can get this on Amazon for uh, under $50. I'll put the price at the bottom of the screen, but this thing has paid for itself multiple times. Um, I just get some extra paper with it and uh, it prints off on these little strips and you peel this thing off the back and it, it has an adhesive so it can stick onto you know, your gear. What this allows you to do is to put it on all kinds of stuff like batteries, you know, keeping that separate from everybody else's. Um, I put it on uh, the corner of my cameras so I can instantly tell out of a pile of SLRs, you know, these are the ones that are mine. Um, on stuff like this, chargers are the worst. You know, you'll, you'll, at the end of the day, you go up to a wall and there's like four or five chargers plugged in. So this is a quick way to have those separated as well as um, you could even put the type of battery it charges. So if you have a bunch of assistants, and that's what's great is if uh, you have some, uh, someone assisting you, you can have them run over and say, hey, grab the, you know, T3i charger. Um, this kind of thing. So that's really, really helpful. And then another big thing is lenses. Um, back when I had a whole set of Nikkor Primes, um, they're all exactly the same diameter. They're all 52 millimeter filter diameter. So when I walked up to my Pelican case and looked in there, there was just a whole line of them. And uh, if someone hastily moved them around or we threw them in and moved to another location, I had to kind of pull them out and look at to see which one, you know, if I was looking for a 35 millimeter. So what I did is on the top, I switched them to all the same caps and then I would label them so I could instantly see 35 F2. There it is, grab it. Um, so that's a great solution as well as to label all of your lenses. So that's a quick tip, great little tool. I mean, it's fantastic just for around the office as well. Um, I also label all of my naked drives. I'm gonna do another tutorial on how I uh, archive old projects and store them, but I have all these drives, these three by 3.5 inch drives uh, without an enclosure. And so I just pull those out, I label it using that same labeler, stick it in a safe and bubble wrap and we're done. So um, awesome little printer, you can't go wrong with it. So I'll put a link in the show notes. Go to dslrvdshooter.com for more content like this, as well as links and more information. And I will see you guys around the site.